Welcome to the Pick Connection. I'm John Evans, your host, and today we're heading to Beaver County. We will be in Beaver County to film the 50th anniversary of Head Start in Beaver County. And then we'll be talking to Kathy Mandarino. Kathy is the Secretary of Labor and Industry for Pennsylvania, so you want to stay with us. This is going to be a very interesting show. Welcome to the Private Industry Council's new location, 112 Commonwealth Drive in Lamont Furnace, PA. We're just off of Connellsville Street, across from Nickman's Plaza. Our new building houses the Career Link, Private Industry Council offices, Head Start and Early Head Start of Fayette County. We're here daily from 8 a.m. until 4.30 p.m. Coming up next is Margaret and Kevin Cox, and they have been volunteering for Head Start for 25 years. With me now is Margaret and Kevin Cox. They have been volunteering for the Head Start of Beaver County for 25 years. It's an honor to have both of you on the TV show today. Margaret, uh, what has kept you here for 25 years volunteering? Children. <laughs> uh, I first got involved with uh, Mrs. Snyder's classroom in Darlington when uh, a friend of ours had two little girls that was in at the same time, so they needed help with them when they took field trips. And was there then ever since, I, well, I still play with children through daycare and stuff like that. Okay, okay. And Kevin, you've been right by uh, Margaret's side for the last 25 years? Well, not 25, but uh, had a, a job, you know. And yeah. after that, why, after I retired, why, I, I uh, went in with her and uh, enjoyed, we, it. enjoyed it and just stayed there until the place closed down. Well, I tell you, it's really something. 25 years, I, uh, I don't think I've run across anybody who's volunteered that long uh, at Head Start. Well, I'm sure there is some out there somewhere bound to be. Because if we have an interest in it, had an interest, still do, I'm sure others did the same. And uh, we, it was gratifying to uh, see the kids uh, growing and so forth and uh, becoming responsible citizens. and. We see them today, a lot of times they'll recognize us and we can't that's recognize them. And <laughs> where, they, where, where do we see this kid, you know? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> and uh, when you, uh, they say, well, I'm so-and-so and, and uh, I was in your class. And uh, so that's the way that was. Okay. And Margaret, would you recommend uh, maybe if people out there are looking to volunteer for an organization, this might be a good organization to volunteer for? Yes, if you love children, I'd say get into Head Start. They need all the help they can get, and the children needs the loving and tenderness of being away from home, missing mommy and dad. Okay. Well, thanks so much to Margaret and Kevin Fox. Uh, it was an honor to have them on the TV show today, and uh, we'll be back. Coming up next is Coral McLaughlin Blake, and she was a former Head Start participant. Stay with us. You're going to really enjoy this. With me now is Coral McLaughlin Blake, and this is really an interesting story. Uh, Coral was uh, one of their first children in Head Start in Colorado yeah. in 1965 when Head Start first started. Right, I was three going on four, September baby, and um, I started it and um, I learned how to finger paint and one of my best memories is a periwinkle's nap blanket I laid on. Okay. And um, I'm really excited to be here because education has been a huge part of my life. And um, it really freed me up a lot to um, speak to my children about education and to further my education. I have two degrees, um, wow. went back to school three times, and um, my children are doing the same thing. So wow. I raised them on education. I love it so much, and, and it's been a huge part of my journey. Well, tell us about the story how you came to be here. Well, I was walking through the mall one day and I saw a sign out here by the center and um, it had a Head Start sign on it and I'm like, oh look, look, there's Head Start and I went on by and went shopping and when I came back by I just couldn't contain my enthusiasm because I love the program so much and it did so much for me that I just had to come over and introduce myself and since then I kind of worked out the math and figured out I was one of the first students. Wow. So. Wow, that's really, really cool. And you have a picture there where we'll, uh, we'll try to get up on the TV screen a little bit later of when you first went into Head Start out in Colorado. Right. It's my very first school picture, and I cut it, and well, I cut a little snowflake, and my teacher must have stapled it onto it. So I dug that out for today. It's 
Oh, that's great. What a great thank story, you. Coral. It's so nice to have you here. And thank you so much for coming on PIC TV. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We'll be back shortly. Coming up next is Tammy Osagovich, and Tammy is the director of the Beaver County Head Start, who will be emceeing the Head Start 50th anniversary. Tammy will be joined by Margie Baird Walker, and Margie is the first director of the Beaver County Head Start. Also on stage with Tammy will be Margaret and Kevin Cox, Head Start volunteers. Also Coral McLaughlin Blake. Coral is a former Head Start participant. Dewan Walker, the Aliquippa Mayor, will be on stage with Tammy. Joe Spanik, a Beaver County Commissioner, will be there as well. And Tony Amadito, Beaver County Commissioner, who will be presenting a proclamation to Head Start. Stay with us. All right, with me now is Tammy Osagovich, and she is the director of Head Start in Beaver County. It's a real pleasure having her on the TV show today. Tammy, uh, tell us what's going on here today. Well, this is um, Head Start's 50th anniversary, but um, our kids are calling it um, the birthday of Head Start. So it's really a birthday celebration today for Head Start. It's fantastic. It's very nicely set up here, and we had the oppor uh, opportunity to talk to two uh, people who volunteered, have volunteered for Head Start for 25 years, Margaret and Kevin Cox, mm -hmm. and then we talked to a lady, uh, Coral McLaughlin Blake, who uh, out in Colorado was like one of the first children in Head Start in 1965, and it was so nice for her to be here and come on the show, but uh, you have a lot more lined up today. Uh, we do. We actually have um, some other guest speakers. Uh, we have the county commissioners coming to do a proclamation for Head Start Beaver County. Um, we're acknowledging the very first Head Start director here in Beaver County. So we have the first Head Start director and then the current Head Start director, which That's is pretty fantastic. cool. Yeah. yeah. I, my staff did a wonderful job reaching out to the community and inviting uh, people who really had uh, played a significant role in Head Start here in Beaver County. So we're very, very excited about that. And Sammy, what a great facility you have have here and uh, you know been here for what two years now I, I believe we've been this is our third, third year, year yes okay. this is our third year and uh, yeah and we're fortunate enough, enough to have partners like Center at the Mall who allowed us to use their space today because it's a pretty big event for us and unfortunately we can't really house something like that so we're really great uh, or fortunate to have such wonderful wonderful partners here in Beaver County Beaver County really does support our program and we couldn't be happier I'll tell you what every time we come up here the such the hospitality is so great here your staff just rolls out the red carpet for harry and i and we appreciate that so much and you have wonderful staff we do i was so worried about you know getting this all started or you know getting it to completion tonight and uh and honestly i should know better my staff really <laughs> does pull things together very quickly they're telling me not to worry about i you know i'm a worrier at heart so until it's all said and done i'm going to worry but i should never worry because anything they've ever planned they have really pulled together um, in, in such a wonderful manner and so easily and so flawlessly. So I'm very, very happy with the staff that I have and I couldn't be uh, more proud of them. Great. And uh, we'll be back and uh, the opening ceremony will be coming up here shortly. So please stay with us. Good afternoon. My name is Tammy Ozogovich, Director of Head Start of Beaver County. On behalf of the Private Industry Council's Head Start program, I would like to welcome you to to the celebration of the 50th anniversary of Head Start. I would like to thank the county commissioners for joining us to help celebrate this very important anniversary. I would also like to introduce Tim Yerkeson, our president and CEO. Our chairman of the board, John Malone. And Terry Campbell, our vice president of operations. Most importantly, I would like to welcome our families, staff, and partners. Without you, we wouldn't be here today. Head Start is truly a community effort. I would like to get this party started by having some very special guests join me up here on stage. Jen? Come on, friends. Go stand by Miss T. Hi, friends. Hi, how are you? Good. Hi. These are my friends. Thank you, friends. 
I couldn't think of a better way to start this program than to bring the kids up. They kept saying that this was a birthday party today, so I thought, let them wish had started a happy birthday. Thank you, friends. You can follow Jen now. And our next speaker was the first African-American graduate of Slippery Rock University. Her career began as a kindergarten teacher in the Alapupa School District. She then proceeded as a demonstration instructor in the pilot preschool early childhood program as a, and, and a presenter at the initial Head Start conference. Eventually, she became the first director of the Alapupa Head Start, which evolved under, the leader, under her leadership into the Head Start program of Beaver County. Her service to children and their education from early childhood through higher education has spanned for over 50 years. As a retiree, she continues to work in her professional and social organizations to help students achieve by mentoring them and raising funds to supplement the cost of their education. Please join me in welcoming Margie Bird Walker. First of all, thank you so very much for inviting me to be here. Head Start is a program in Beaver County was first started by Reverend Charles Rose and my husband, Dr. Curtis L. Walker. It was funded through the Ford Foundation and Ford Foundation received and administered funds for scientific, educational, and charitable services, all for public welfare. And they were trying to dodge the IRS's uh, sleep inheritance, steep inheritance tax on the Ford Motor Campaign stock. So therefore, that's why they decided they would fund a program for minorities and Head Start. The legacy of the War on Poverty Policy initiatives remain today in and continued existence of such federal programs as Head Start. <coughs> Under President Lyndon B. Johnson, it was funded and it was with the Office of Economic Opportunity in 1965. This bill was signed and we in Beaver County had an organization called Community Action Program. And some of you may have resulted or participated in that program. Head Start in Beaver County was started in Aliquippa. Are any of parents here from the Aliquippa Head Start program from a long time ago. Would you please stand? Because I know some of you are here. <laughs> Head Start is now funded through the, uh, it went from the Office of Child Development in the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. And now it's in the Department of Health and Human Services. And this was transferred in by President Nixon when he was president. <coughs> I'm going to sit down because I know everybody wants to move on with the program. But thank you for coming and thank you for inviting me to come to head to this. Thank you, Margie. These are for you on behalf of Head Start. Thank you so much for coming today. Um, I would now like to bring up one of Beaver County's own, <laughs> Dewan Walker, the um, mayor of Aliquippa, to talk about his Head Start experience. Welcome. So I'm exactly 40 years old, but I remember my teacher were Miss Miss Red and Miss Brown, and uh, they, those were my teachers right there. Miss Kate, they they rolled an iron fist 
but they had the authority to do whatever they could for us because all our parents knew them. So if they wanted to put you in the corner, do something to you, they could. It was okay. They signed off on it. They had papers and credentials to let them do it. <laughs> but um, but I remember how much they loved us. Like I remember they were grandma and that was, you know, whatever they said went and that's what it was. And But you learn from them. I mean, I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for them touching my life. It still continue to touch my life to this day. You know, when you see them, they always smile. And I remember that, how warm they felt to me. Every time to this day, when I see you, Ms. Red or Ms. Brown, they made a Head Start fun. They made Head Start important. They made education important. I mean, because it mattered to them, we saw how much they loved it. So you had no choice but to absorb it and be exactly what they wanted you to be. You're gonna be more than just a football player. You're gonna be more than just that. You could be the president. You could, these are the things they put into us. So if they told us that, why couldn't it happen? And then here I am, <laughs> the mayor of a city. You know, somebody told me that. It wasn't Barack Obama that let me believe that. Somebody put it into me at an early age that let me know that this, could, this thing is possible. So if I can say anything, it would be thank you to those two ladies there, Ms. Red and Ms. Brown. Thank you so much for loving us. And, you know, thank you for, you know. I want our kids to get an education. I want our kids to know there's more than just sports. I want our kids to know that there's possibilities out there. And that's what I want. And that's what the Head Start gave me. And that's what I wanted to continue to give kids of Beaver County, Westmoreland County, all over the world, that they can understand that education is key. But you have to have people that push that love for it to matter. So thank you for the opportunity. Ms. Red and Ms. Brown, thank you all so much for all the love y'all are showing me. Ms. KQ, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm gonna give these to y'all if you don't mind. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I'm gonna have um, Terry Campbell, our Vice President of Operations, come up and um, introduce our County Commissioners. When the Private Industry Council um, was looking to apply for Start grant here in Beaver County, um, one of the first uh, stops that we made was um, to meet with the county commissioners and um, Joe Spanik has been um, a great advocate and friend of the Private Industry Council, a great supporter of Head Start and wanted to make sure that the program did continue to thrive here in Beaver County. So I'm very pleased to be able to introduce Joe Spanik. Thank you, Terry. Good evening. Happy birthday, Head Start, 50 years. How about it? And, and you can see the end results of what you have accomplished in some of our students here right in Beaver County. Our, 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 our children who grew up to be adults, the vision, the dreams that they had, and to continue that. This is amazing. And, and Terry, you're absolutely right. Terry, Tim, you've been wonderful to us. I, I know it was a shaky start, Mary, as you mentioned. When, when the federal government told us there's going to be a change in how the Head Start program is going to be run in Beaver County, uh, I'm sure there was a lot of heartaches and things that were going on, but I can tell you, without the leadership of the Westmoreland County Private Industry Council, the leadership of Mayor Walker, the community, the family, the parents, we have now succeeded. We have succeeded to make this one of the best programs, I believe, in the country. Ms. Walker, thank you and your husband. It started at Griffin Heights. Fantastic. And you talk about where we're at today. In 2013, 2014, we had a little, little less than $4 million. 478 children were in those Head Start programs. 2015, 2016, over $4 million, 497 children. And today, we now have 533 children getting the education that is needed out there so they continue on what their careers are going to be in the future. This is what's fantastic about this. Now we have nine school districts. Thank those superintendents for allowing us to come into their program. We have two other uh, programs out there sites. We have three home-based programs. And, and my God, this is what's fantastic about this program. We're giving opportunities to our young children today and, and, and what they will be in the future. And without the staff, without the, the executive directors and without the parents and without the volunteers that make this possible these are the opportunities that these young kids are going to get today and what their futures are going to be at tomorrow so with that being said leading the way 
Let's continue on making the Head Start program in Beaver County the success that it is and giving every child the opportunity to get the education and the opportunity to succeed in their life. Now it is my opportunity and pleasure to introduce to you the Chairman of the Board of County Commissioners, Tony Amadeo, to read the proclamation which we just passed last adopted last week. And I'm so proud to be part uh, of honoring Head Start in their 50 years and with that I'll, I'll read the proclamation that uh, Mr. Spanik and Mr. Nichols and I passed on uh, October 8th. And it starts County Commissioner's Proclamation. A proclamation of the Board of Commissioners of the County of Beaver in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania proclaiming October 14th, 2015 as Head Start National 50th Anniversary Celebration Day in Beaver County. Whereas supporting our children in their earliest years with high quality care and education is one of the best investments we could make as a nation. For 50 years, Head Start has helped lift up millions of American children and their families in communities across our country. And whereas by investing in, in Head Start, our nation invests in our future of our children strengthening our economy, bolstering our communities, and giving every young person a chance to build a better life by providing a strong, healthy, and safe head start for all children. And whereas in the last half century, Head Start has served 32 million children, supporting them in every aspect of their development, from early learning to health and nutrition, to social and emotional well-being. And whereas in small towns, in large cities, in America's immigrant communities, with the migrant and seasonal families, faith-based communities, and tribal leaders, Head Start programs and providers empower children and their families to foster positive parent-child relationships, to reach for economic and family stability, and to make important connections to their peers and their communities. And whereas Head Start began in Beaver County as a pilot program administered by Griffith Heights Social Service Association in 1965, and has grown from a six to eight week summer program with six classrooms serving 15 children each to 23 classrooms and three home-based areas serving 533 children today. Whereas Beaver County is committed to the health and well-being of all young people through, our, through opportunities that will enable children to begin kindergarten ready to learn. Now therefore be it proclaimed by the Board of Commissioners of the County of Beaver, a fourth class county under the laws of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, it is hereby proclaimed that the Board of Commissioners of the County of Beaver does hereby call upon the people of Beaver County and upon all patriotic, civic, and educational organizations to observe October 14th, 2015 as Head Start National 50th Anniversary Celebration Day in Beaver County. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner. I want to thank everyone for your contributions in making Head Start a success for the children and families in Beaver County for the past 50 years. Without the hard work and dedication of all of you, parents, staff, community partners, we could, have not, we could not have made it 50 years. It truly does take a village to raise a child. Thank you so much for coming out and helping us celebrate 50 years of Head Start. Thank you. child development centers. This means that nearly half the preschool children of poverty will get a head start on their future. We need to tap into all available resources, including local, because our goal is to enhance existing services or to partner
to bring needed services to a community. Braiding and blending of federal and state resources alone does not fund the full cost of high quality services. The formation of these meaningful relationships is vital. It is important that these relationships are not only formed with parents, but with community representatives, school districts, and other agencies. We need those non-traditional voices to be our advocates for early care and education. Recently, the Private Industry Council of Westmoreland Fayette was honored to host Kathy Mandarino, Secretary of Labor and Industry for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, at our new professional building located at 112 Commonwealth Drive in Lamont Furness. During the Secretary's tour, she was able to interact with students and staff in our early childhood and adult education units, as well as with job seekers in the PA Career Link. Following the tour, the Secretary held an interactive session with staff and management to discuss the Department of Labor and Industry's vision and goals and to assist our staff and programs in support of those efforts. The Department of Labor and Industry provides direction and oversight to programs offered in the PIC Professional Building, including the PA Career Link, Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Program, Employment Advancement Retention Network, the Office of Vocational Rehabilitation, and Benefits to Unemployment. We sincerely appreciate the opportunity to interact with Secretary Mandarino, and we're thankful for the opportunity to showcase the technology and unique integration of early childhood education, adult education, and workforce development programs that enable PIC to serve the entire community in Fayette County. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's show, especially the 50th anniversary of Head Start in Beaver County, and I hope you enjoyed the visit we had from Secretary Mandarino of the Labor and Industry Department in Pennsylvania. And don't forget, I'll see you next month on The Pick Connection.